Hello everybody, John Drazi, this is my name. In today's video we are going to play the Gothic Unreal Engine release version 1. This is a new version of Gothic 1. It's not a official remake, but it's just a new engine for the Gothic, so it's going to be looking very awesome. We are going to test it because I really wanted to play Gothic 1 and this is the perfect way to, to do it. I've never played this mod, I did play Gothic 1, I believe six years ago or eight years ago so i did recently play gothic 2 but without further ado let's try it we got some russian words the kingdom of Murtana, united by king robar the second during the long years of his reign he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. the orcs took its toll and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. That was a mercenary. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Yeah, the, the hands movement is quite weird in this first instance. I mean, Diego also. It's like he's very stiff. Well, but we are back into the colony. The first impression is, wow, the game looks very, very nice. I really wish that we had uh, the numbers on the HP bar, on the MP bar also. But we are back, so let's see what did change in this version of the game. Yeah, we have a letter from the Magicians of Fire that the guy told us. Once we go inside, we can give it to the... Magicians of fire and then we will get everything that we want which is 
totally not true, but let's see. Oh, with the mouse you cannot click anymore, you have to press I have E. I a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by Wiser a name shortly er. before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. The water looks so nice. Also, there is a problem with the sound. I lower it, but it, it always keeps going to the maximum. So sometimes it's very, very hard to hear anything else other than the music or the sound of the game, which I really don't like. Probably there's a problem with the English version, because I notice also our name is R. Probably that means I in Russian. The R is I, I don't know. Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the king. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. I keep pressing the left mouse Who's button. Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. I like the way it says relatively safe because they want protection money from us. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch. Because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. So they didn't change this picture. So we just e, wait. We, just wait. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. Even women. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. The swamp camp is also nice, but I believe we are going to play the shadows. Well, the old camp, then we will become a, not a guard, but a magician of fire. And then we will see what it unfolds. If something change would be nice. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here? But you've only just arrived. Take care. 
Oh wow, the movement is so fast. Okay, we are walking. Ah, with shift we can activate a running. There is a torch. Oh, with E we can pick it up. Okay, so let's check the sound because it annoys me. Let's make it a bit less sensitive. Yeah, and talk or action. Can we change the action? Interact? Oh, okay, we can with our left click. Very good. I'm used to that. And the audio, yep. It keeps changing. Okay, let's hope that changes. Nope. And if we check it now. Yeah, it keeps going on maximum. It doesn't want to. I know if this is a bug, I press enter, I press E, yep, nothing seems to, to work, we'll have to live with it. So, I believe they changed that a bit to look like in the Gothic 2 when we come back to the... Okay, we got a beer and our nugget. There was to be a, used to be a barrier here. Let's save. Quick save, okay, that goes very fast. Ah, the, the barrier is there, okay. We just cannot see it. What about fighting? Ooh, we are boxing. Okay. Oh, I do want to jump with the right button. Right mouse button. We can sneak, inventory, quests. Where is the jumping? Did I just simply miss it? Jump. Okay, now it is the way I like it. So, I am really in the mood to play this graphic one. I really wanted to play it for a long time, but was scared of the old graphic. Even though I do like it, but this is a perfect reason to, to try it. So I forgot, is here anything? Okay. The camera. Okay, this looks a bit jerky for me, probably because I didn't play it for a long time. We have to remember the, the saving is our friend in Gothic. We do not want to die. Okay. What do we have? Oh, this is the character menu can we snake oh no it says learning this skill Al oh there's alchemy blacksmith collecting trophies oh they make they took it from the graphic to some of the things power is should be strength dexterity mana and health okay oh tasks search for a new home inventory Remove the seal, throw description, okay, we we are not supposed to open it. Documents, we have nothing. Oh, we have a seal letter, we are not going to. And this one, is the gold? Or is the gold in inventory? I believe this is the, the currency. So, yeah, we are going to, to have fun. Cannot wait to explore it. Ooh, this looks very nice. This looks very nice. Okay, they give us the hints what we have to use to actually action the buttons, but this looks so nice. Okay, let's talk to Ori. I like his name, Ori. The hands movement looks so <laughs> weird. What's what up with that? What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange, please. Especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp. Same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Yes, we did. Yes, I have. 
Good. Then you know what's what around here. Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared to the new camp, the old camp's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. The new camp doesn't get any deliveries from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards, followed by the shadows. The diggers are the lowest. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. When I was washed ashore, one of the guys punched me in the face. They do that to all the newcomers. They call it standing, standing godfather. godfather. I like oh, that move. Are all the guys Going like to apply that in to the old camp? We do have a few suckers, but they won't touch you as long as you pay them protection money. I saw a woman being sent down with the goods. Yeah, the ore barons get everything they want. Do you mean to say the king exchanges women for ore? They're convicted criminals too, of course. But if Gomez hadn't asked for them, they'd be sitting in some dungeon or other. I'm not sure what's worse. I'm looking for a weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine further down the canyon. But don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. An inexperienced fighter should never use one of them unless it's an emergency. You'd better make thank sure you. you reach the old camp in one piece. Okay, thank you for the information. Can we jump? Oh, but the saving is so fast. Yeah, the jumping looks jerky. We are going to get used to it. There used to be plants here, right? Wildberry. Yeah, I didn't even see it on the ground, so how are we going? Oh, we are going to box you. Experience, they show the experience. I believe there is an option. F, take everything, okay. Oh, we can pick up while we are in the fight mode. Skeleton. The music scared me a bit. So this looks so beautiful. Okay, there is a arrow. I saw there is an option also for, to make uh, items glow, but we are not going to do that. What's this? The chest? So what do we have here? Beer, arrows, lockpicks, torch. Nice that we have a button to pick everything. It's a bit hard to see stuff. And here, pickaxe. Is it any good? Oh, we eh, equip E. 7 damage, 5 strength. And it's a two-handed. And here, it's blocked, right? So as we know, here should be a mole rat. Oh, I like the sound. This looks really, really beautiful. And I, I do dig the, the saving. So, the mole rat, look at its tail. What about the rust? Why is it? Oh, because it's equipped? Yeah, this is better. And it's one-handed. I wish they would show the, the range. Oh! Yeah, we are fighting like it's a two-handed weapon, so let's see. Okay. I don't know what to say about the fighting. It's not bad, it's just probably like the original. Been a long while since I played the Gothic 1, as I said, years. The Gothic 2 I did play and it's a bit better, the the depth, the... Oh, the rain. The fighting is better, the controls of the fight. Probably will get used here also. Oh, we cannot sprint anymore. I mean, I, I'm using Gothic 2 to play with the modes. With the sprinting mode. I don't know if for this game there are modes, but we are going to play it as it is. Apparently, as we see, there are alchemy and blacksmith, so probably they, they did improve 
implement more things. In Gothic 1 there was a way to get everything, like to learn every single skill, to learn every magic, one hand, two hand, bow, crossbow, dexterity and everything. I like the rain. I like the way the rain sounds. And it's windy. Yeah, the, the plants are going to be hard to be seen. But I do refuse to use the glow, not the glowing, but the showing enemies, uh, not enemies, but show the item. Wow, it is so loud. So, oh. Okay, that's how we fight. I'm so not used with the health to be shown on the downside of the screen. But we are going to get used to it. There was something, right? This? It said something. Press. Can we load them? Yeah. Oh, the thunder. Oh, I forgot, I believe we can we can pick up with a weapon round. Let's check it. Okay, we do hit even though we, we didn't have it. Okay, we cannot with a weapon, only with, with a fist. Wow. The sounds are amazing. Okay. It's going to be hard to remember where everything was. The goblin, let's see, can we fight you? Okay. It almost one shots us, so we will have to perfectly time it. Probably we will have to leave the, the guy alone. There's no way. Can we block? Okay, looks like we could block, but I don't think you can block the goblins. One more try. They change the way the fighting works. You have to time your hits. Whew. So there is a penalty if you try to hit too fast. I believe I saw that in the options. No, we will leave it alone. We will come back later. Cannot believe we cannot even be the goblin. Ugh, the sounds are amazing, but why is it so loud? Why does it have to be so loud? Unbelievable. It's almost on mute. Oh, the lightning. Looks like it's a storm. So here we can time it correctly, but on the guy? No. One more try. Just fight the scavenger first. Never mind. At least we managed to kill everything here. I don't know if there is something else up here. Probably we wasted more than enough time up here. He can barely see stuff. But why did it have to rain already? The Unreal Engine looks nice. Here we can use our will. We can levitate apparently. So let's go further to the old camp. 
Wow, the lightning. The lightning up there looks so beautiful. This adds to the atmosphere like a lot. Okay. This one should be also a young scavenger. Three hits. Arrows, arrows. Club. Not a party club, right? Here used to be also a sword. Sword. Is it better? Yes, it is better. Do extra damage. Because the damage in Gothic, even one damage extra or two makes a difference. So, little scavenger. I cannot wait to see once we learn to fight. It is going to be different fighting. In the original gothic I could clear the whole map without joining everything, anything. But here, probably they changed that. Oak leaf, there was something else. Surface. Look at the water. It sucks that it's raining because we can barely see. Ooh, the fire looks nice. Yeah, I believe there should be something that makes us run faster. Ooh, they are so close. They are going to kill them, right? Let's hope not. Where are they so close? Hear them talk now. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers. That's what we call the big guns. We should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the back. Have to do something about the sound. Hey you! What do you want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our. Maybe if we are closer to them. The sound is blocked. Is the motion? I don't know, I don't think we will need ore in this game. I mean, we can manage it. Please save it somehow. What do you hunt? Oh, looks better. Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. 
Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as a uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Yeah, I, I think the, the egg range got reduced because look how close they are to each other. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. Travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here, and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint. Don't go into the forest. Where do I get a map? Very good That's advice the about the forest. Camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. Will do. If I manage to get them without paying, I'll take as many as I can carry. You're all right. You should consider coming to the new camp. In case you go there, ask for Lars. He takes care of the new ones. I'm sure he'll have a job for you. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's gonna be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in the newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a big axe. And we have to. Keep it in mind. He's alright. Radford is very alright. Oh, another scavenger. Going to check a cave that I learned very late about it. Yeah, we, we can take hits quite easily. But we do have to level up before we get inside the camp. So here is a cave that I... It's been a long while. See, oh, the, the swimming is nice. So I didn't know about this. Even though there is nothing. I believe here used to be something. Apparently not. I didn't know about this cave. It's right at the beginning. So here we have to be careful that the guys don't steal our experience. I really hate when I lose free experience. Well, not free, but look how close this guy is to the... Had somehow the they really decrease the aggro range. Is here anything? Mm, nope, looks like not. So let's talk with those guys and probably we'll make a cut here. There are the normal scavengers we are not going to kill. Yeah, the hands. It's <laughs> so weird. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge. Is it now? That's quite a small old camp, right? Well, you little liar, there is nothing under the bridge. So, there are some mole rats, but probably not small anymore, so... Tumblr. So hard to see stuff on the ground. Probably that's why they implemented that. Not glowing, but some sort of arrow above the the items, because otherwise we are going to miss a lot of stuff. So this is the old camp. Looks very nice. Very very nice. We need to level up. 60. Probably we get enough experience inside doing some quests. We are not going to beat any merchant to pick up their items. We are not going to to 
use those kind of tricks. We are going to play it normally as expected. So thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.